Hey guys, welcome back to Jungle Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about a brand new benchmark. It's Gran Turismo 5 for the PS3. That's right, we're testing out the RPC S3 emulator here today once again with my Intel i7 4790 with the AMD RX 570 for Gigabyte VRAM graphics card. We're running out of the default preset as usual, as I normally do in the videos. The whole point is to make sure the game runs in the first place. We tweak in everything else after that, but first of all, we're going to see how it handles on a default 720. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. It's Gran Turismo, another exclusive. I'm running out of these. I feel like I've played a lot, played a lot of these at this point in time. So I'm gonna start doing just normal games after this. Games that are also on PC. It seems like it seems like it's it's coming down to that level with me. So the first time I tried running this, so this is, this is once again, this is the first time I'm running this game. There will be compiling shaders in. I want you to see how it runs completely when we start it up and see everything for what it is. And this scene, boy, this scene, that scene really dragged that. Like I didn't expect it to, the frames to drop like that crazy, that was insane. So the first time I launched this uh, minutes ago, it actually crashed on the first the first time as it got to the main menu this time it didn't and you know it sometimes happens that it crashes it stalls this one seems to be running fine we're gonna see what happens I actually have to stop myself from being overclocked because I'm drawing too much power when I have it overclocked that's why I have it at 3.6 rather than the 4.0 you're normally used to seeing we're gonna see what happens once I get into the game I really didn't think it takes so long to load in that's why I started from back there anyway get ready for a lot of compiling of shaders and we'll see what happens here as it has to build in everything. Because I don't feel like doing it twice. <laughs> build in your shaders. I'll wait. Look at that. I'm back again. And this time it runs. So... It, it, it crashed on me twice beforehand, but this time apparently it does seem to actually be moving. Dude, there's that guy just this guy driving driving himself back there. That's weird. So like I said, it's gonna compile shaders like it, it's it's expected. The CPU is going almost a hundred percent at the, the time. This is what happens when you compile shaders, man. But as time goes by. It'll get them. So we're going to actually see how it starts here. Then we're going to watch it progress to load in all of them. And then watch the performance go up. Just keep looking at the performance. And as you can see, the performance is starting to rise already. Hi, car. They got to be able to look outside my car, isn't there? I like how I, I always put myself in these situations where I play these because I have no idea how to play it. So I'm there like, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to get out this camera view. And the game might just simply crash like that. So now I'm going to redo it one more time. So we'll have it. But apparently Gran Turismo 5 I wouldn't necessarily call very playable. It has a lot of issues with just stopping. It, the threads seem to stop and cause issues for it all the time. So it never actually cohesively works. 